This is the final battle, and today we're going to be exploring historical facts over Egyptian opinions. System, some of the first governmental systems. After visiting Egypt, white scholar Count Constantine Devonny wrote, Just think, the race of black men today, our slave and object of our scorn, is the very race to which we owe our arts, sciences, and even the use of speech. In order to justify the economic drive of the slave trade, there had to be the denigration of black people. And so people began to see these sculptures. <laughs> On your father's side, going way, way back, you have a distant relative, and this is a sort of 73,000 year old relative, uh, with Pharaoh Ramesses III. Oh, really? Sick! Hey, <laughs> That's well some cool. like Egyptian. Yeah, right. So your great grandfather, 73,000 years, is also his great grandfather. Oh my day, okay, there it like goes. meets at that point. So I'm like related to royalty almost. Judge, you can take a look at uh, two pictures side by side. That's Khafre in the British, in the uh, Cairo Museum, and then the Sphinx of, of Giza. Count Constantine de Volnay, during a, a trip to Egypt in seven, from eight, 1783 to 1785, said this, and I quote, he says, on seeing that head, what head? The Sphinx of Giza. Typically Negro in all its features, I remembered the remarkable passage of Herodotus. The ancient Egyptians were true Negroes of the same type as all native-born Africans. Just to think that this race of black men today are slaves and the object of scorn, the very race to which we owe our arts, sciences, and even the use of speech. Now, I, I, I want to ask this question. What would motivate him to say this phrase, typically Negro in all its features? Could it be perhaps this? This was a... Ignore. Just refuse to publish any facts of African history that don't go along with our racial theories. When black contribution to civilization is too obvious, let's find a way to attribute it to outside white influence. In Egypt, during the summer months, the season during which the pyramid was built, temperature reached 45 degrees Celsius and higher. Under this overwhelming sun, no other human race could survive shirtless more than four days without experiencing a severe skin burn. The only race capable of withstanding days and months without problem and without sunscreen is the Negro race with black skin. I paint and I never had a preference for this or that color. A painter like all the colors, but we say that we must give back to Caesar what belonged to Caesar. Well, let's give back to the Egyptian what belongs to the Egyptian. The Egyptian of the pyramid for millennia were Negroes, neither olive skinned nor mulatto, but charcoal black. the Egyptians memorial sciences and even the use of speech. In order to justify the economic drive of the slave trade, there had to be the denigration of black people. And so people began to see these sculptures of people with clear aphroid features. It was just incontrovertible. The facts, the reality that black people had designed this civilization. So this is why when they conquered, they destroyed all the libraries like in Alexandria, Timbuktu, and it, it's a quite others that you're probably not familiar with. But it was a point in history they was destroying all the libraries. I wonder why. 500 miles south of Memphis, his chief advisor was a, a gentleman by the name of Imhotep. Imhotep, uh, a remarkable individual. In fact, if you were to look at his uh, resume, his obituary, I call this a resume obituary type stuff, is that uh, he would he could easily say, I'm a sage, I'm a, a, a scribe, a priest, an astronomer, I'm a philosopher, I'm an advisor to Zosier, I'm his chief uh, medical doctor, uh, I'm the grand architect of the 204 foot stepped pyramid in Saqqara. He was worshipped, by the way, as a god for uh, the next 3,000 years. And uh, some early Christians, in fact, worshipped him as the Prince of Peace. Uh, just uh, 
th this man made quite a mark in, in uh, what he did. He, uh, he was a man that uh, was what we call the father of medicine. And so what is being proven is that no matter what, they're not going to stick to the truth because they hate the truth. And that's about it for today's episode. Make sure you like and subscribe and drop a comment. This is the final battle.